This is Blake with Blake's Bookshelf, and today we're talking about books because books rock. Truly, books are one of the most easily accessible and affordable ways to develop yourself as a person, and we should all be striving every single day to better ourselves as a person. So I know that books have had a huge impact on my life, and I want to share that with you today. We're going to be talking about The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan. I'm going to give you a brief summary of who this book is for, and then three key practical life takeaways from this book that you can implement today, hopefully encouraging you to dig in and read the book as well. Let's jump into it. Okay, so The One Thing is an amazing book for anyone that wants to bring more focus and direction into their life and be more productive in the hours that they work so they can accomplish extraordinary results in their life and business. So my big three takeaways that I am going to share with you today are going to be focusing question, time blocking, and goal setting in the now. So to start off with the focusing question, how the book phrases this is, what is the one thing I can do and in so doing everything else will be easier or unnecessary? So what is the one big task I need to get done today? What is your one thing? If you're familiar with Pareto's principle, it states that, or the 80-20 principle, 20% um, of your customers produce 80% of your revenue or results. That's kind of what we're going for here in business. A lot of the times, there's a lot of tasks that need done, but some tasks get a lot more forward momentum going in our business or push us a lot further than others. So we're going to take that 20% task and we're going to look at it. We're going to take the 20% of the 20% of the 20% to narrow it down to the one thing we need to do that day to drive our business forward in the best way. So it's so easy with a to-do list and different things to have you know 25 seemingly things that need to get done and we check off 12 or 15, but they're never the ones that really need to get done. They're the easy ones that you know we feel accomplished because we're getting things done. But truly focusing in on the focusing question will allow you to push your business so much further forward and you just need to do one thing that day. That's so much less daunting than 25 things, but it's the one thing that you probably have been putting off because you know it takes time, dedication, and hard work. So that's where time blocking comes in. So concept number two is time blocking. And just as the name implies, you are literally setting aside a block of time to work. And this is really hard to do in today's society because we're constantly in flux with emails, text messages, phone calls, meetings, people just, everyone's trying to get at our time and we want to please everybody. So it's like, oh yeah, of course I can meet with you now and take your call then. And you never get an uninterrupted period of work where you can really do deep work. So the example that it gives in the book is juggling. If you think about juggling, there's this illusion that this guy is juggling three balls at once where what he's really doing He's catching one ball, he throws that ball, and then he's trying to grab the next ball. So two balls are floating in the air, and he has all of his attention directed to one ball, but he constantly keeps redirecting his attention. And that's how we are in life, is we're constantly redirecting our attention because we have so many things coming at us. So what time blocking looks like in a practical sense is from, say, 7 to 11 is your time block. And during that time, if someone asks you to go get coffee, if someone tries to give you a phone call, if someone tries to schedule a meeting, you say, I have something during that time. And if you know that you've identified during the focusing question, this one task that is more important than any other task, if it's going to produce disproportionate results, it deserves a disproportionate amount of your time. So don't feel bad about devoting half of your day to this one task because it's the most important task of your day. You need to protect this time block with your life. So during that time, you need to create an environment in which there's going to be no interruptions. And you can really focus and work over the course of that time. Third, goal setting in the now. So we've identified what we need to do today to drive ourselves forward. We've set aside the time for it, but ultimately, what are we working for? You know, we all have these big lofty aspirations, as they call it in the book, a someday goal. And these things are the things that it's hard to even connect. How am I going to get there? When am I going to get there? So we're going to make a practical way of taking steps to systematically get there. So your someday goal is connected to your five-year goal, is connected to your one-year one goal, sorry, Someday goal, five-year goal, one-year goal, one-month goal, one-week goal, one-day goal. So ultimately, your today goal feeds into your one-week goal, which feeds into your one-month goal, which feeds into your one-year goal, which feeds into your five-year goal, which feeds into your someday goal. It's kind of like the book gives the example of the Russian Matroska doll, the big doll. You take off the top and there's a smaller doll inside and you keep digging down in it. That's what we're doing is we're peeling back the layers of that someday goal to systematically work our way towards it. So that puts into perspective this thing is less daunting because I know every day through the focusing question in my time block, I'm working towards it. And every day I'm getting closer and closer to my someday goal. So those are my three big takeaways from the one thing we're talking about the focusing question, time blocking and goal setting to the now. That's it. That's the video. I so appreciate you guys watching. I hope you learned something today and this was a valuable use of your time. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read the one thing and one practical takeaway you had from today or one thing you 
learned when you were reading the one thing that I did not share today so that everyone else can learn as well. 